Hello. Holly? The chairman of the Joint Chiefs is waiting for you in your office. He knows it's my first day, right? Yes, Mr. President. Good. Francis, Mr. President. Oh, we need to talk, sir. It's important. <laughs> Guys, let me enjoy the moment. Oh. The moment's over, sir. Right. Stan, thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, I'm here to bring you up to speed on a program we've been running out of Cheyenne Mountain for the past seven years. I've already had my top secret briefing. Yes, Mr. President, but not this. Mr. President, for the past seven years, the United States Air Force has been sending teams to other planets by means of an alien device known as the Stargate. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. My first day. This is a joke, right? I have a great sense of humor. I didn't know that you had one. But this is good, because we're finding out about each other. Now I have to call the ex-president of Togo. And when I'm done, apparently, the rest of the world is coming to an end. The ex-president of Togo will have to wait, sir. This is not a joke. The United States Air Force has been sending people to other planets. Yes, sir. For the last seven years. That's correct. By means of an alien device? Known as the Stargate. I take it you've just been briefed by the chairman of the Joint Chiefs on our new reality. Not only do I find out that the Air Force is engaged in interstellar travel, but I also find out that my running mate knows all about it. I was under a special executive gag order. Since when? A little over six years now. That's unbelievable. Mr. President, I realize this is a little overwhelming right now, but what you really need to know is that the Stargate is being seriously mismanaged. It's urgent that we act now. What are you talking about? I have desperately tried to maintain some proper control and accountability, but the oversight in place is completely inadequate. The military, specifically, the personnel directly involved in the SGC need to be replaced immediately. Now, I have several recommendations regarding- ah, Whoa, I... Bob, hold on here. Mr. President, why do you think I was ordered to keep quiet. This was a deliberate attempt by the military and the previous administration to drive a wedge between us because they knew I was going to come after them. We need to stick together on this. For God's sakes, Bob, think of the magnitude of this. For God's sake is right. Oh, come on, Bob. If you want me to buy into your holier-than-thou position, you got to convince me you're right. <laughs> 